Good morning, friends. Once again, let's pray. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, once again, we thank you for this wonderful, beautiful morning. Birds chipping away, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. And once again, we pray, Father, for the nations of the world. Lord, that you have mercy upon all the nations of the world. Father, we pray for those, especially those who are in the emergency ward, the ICU wards, oh Lord, that you will supernaturally visit them, oh God, that you will supernaturally in own special way, Lord, reveal yourself to them, Father, that you will save them, Lord, before they go into eternity, oh, that they will call upon your name and be safe, oh God. We pray for the nurses, we pray for doctors, we pray especially for your people, oh God, in this uh, medical field, and those who are able to go near these patients, O oh God, Father, we pray, Lord, that even before they go into eternity, O oh God, that they will call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O oh God, that you will touch them, Father, you will speak to them, O oh God, and you will heal them, Father. And when it comes out from that emergency ICU unit, Lord, they, will, they are going to share the visions they see, the testimonies of healing, O oh God, they will speak about your grace and your mercy, O oh God. Therefore, we continue to pray, Father, for those in the front lines, for the volunteers, for those in the quarantine centers too, O oh God, Lord, that they, they will use the time there, Lord, not to enjoy themselves, there are some in the quarantine center, but rather, Lord, especially your people, to take time to seek after you, to read your word, O oh God, and to minister your gospel of grace, among those that are in their midst, oh God. We know many Christians too, Lord, are also uh, are sick or in quarantine centers. Father, we pray that you use them, oh God, during this time to draw closer to you and to be your hand, your mouth, oh God, your compassion, that they will share the gospel of salvation, the gospel of healing, oh God. Because we know the most important gospel is the gospel of salvation. Therefore, once again, we commit all the nations to hand, O oh God, even as the nations continue to be in lockdown, the waves upon waves, O oh God, of COVID, we pray, Lord, that you continue to protect the people and that they use this time, Father, to seek after you, O oh God, in the quietness of the house, in the quietness of the church, in the quietness of the activity, Lord, that it will not a time that's wasted by the time to draw near to you, that your spirit, O oh God, we pray, will move all over the world during this time, O oh God, to speak salvation, to speak healing, O oh God, as deliverance even to those who are, who, are, who are ensnared by the power of the enemy. We speak deliverance to those who are in depression. We speak deliverance to those who are suffering from any kind of mental health issues. We speak deliverance to those, O oh God, under any kind of spiritual or physical attack, and we speak deliverance in the name of Jesus and by the power of the blood of Jesus. Therefore, we continue to pray for peace among the nations during this time, that there will be, the economy will return, the people will go back to business, but not as business as usual, Lord, but rather that they, when they go back, economy, they will be more closer to you, Lord, especially your people drawing closer to you and more will come into your household to worship you, O oh God. Therefore, we commit the nations in your hand in Jesus' name. Amen.